Hi everyone. So we're so lucky to be outside. Um, you get a nice view of my car, but also of blue sky. So today is really just going to be kind of a quick uh, 20 minute um, crash course in inversions and um, some fun arm balances. So we're not going to kind of do a full uh, yogi, uh, a yoga class, um, mm -hmm. but just kind of really doing it. If you just kind of need that boost in the middle of your day, um, but also note that you should probably do uh, kind of a little bit of walking or some sun salutations or something uh, before taking the class. I'll walk you through a couple of sun salutations in case you still are cold. Um, so let's inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, holding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, walking back to a plank pose. Inhaling in plank. Exhale, chaturanga, knees, chest, chin. Inhaling to upward dog and exhaling to a downward facing dog. Inhale, bending knees, gazing forward, walking or hopping, feet to hands. Halfway lift, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, the arms up, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, coming into chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bending your knees, gazing forward, exhale, walking or hopping, feet to hands. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, the arms all the way up, and exhale, folding right forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, coming back to chaturanga. Inhale, the upward dog, and exhale, the downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg comes up. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, back up. Exhale, right knee to nose. And inhale, back up. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow, right away, coming into an arm balance. And instead of coming into the chin balance, trying to bring that right leg back to a chaturanga. Inhale, the upward dog. Exhale, the downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg comes up. Exhale, right foot between your hands. And the right arm comes up. Taking a nice twist. Coming to the outside of the left foot, maybe coming into a yogi toe lock. Right leg comes up, or you can always bring the right foot on top of the left. And then coming back into your low lunge, inhaling here, exhale back to plank. Inhaling, exhaling chaturanga. Inhale the upward dog. Exhale to a downward facing dog. Inhale as you bring your left leg up. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale up. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale up. So left knee to nose, inhale up, exhale, left knee to the left elbow, coming into your arm balance. Again, not coming into the chin stand, just simply taking the left leg back to chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog, exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale as the left leg comes up, exhale, left foot between the hands, the left arm comes up. Coming to the outside of the right foot, maybe coming into a yogi to a lock. Left leg comes up, and the left leg comes down, coming back to a plank, inhaling in plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale to upward dog, and exhaling to the downward facing dog. Inhale to bend your knees, knees forward, exhale hopping feet to hands. Inhale halfway lift, and exhale forward fold. Inhale sitting back in your chair, release through katasana. Exhale, palms come down, coming into your crow pose. One leg up and then the other. So from crow pose, maybe dropping the crown of your head down to the mat. Raising the legs into your tripod. And having a little fun today in tripod. Maybe bringing your legs into a diamond shape. Maybe bringing them into a lotus. Holding here. And you're releasing the bind if your legs are in a bind. Maybe coming back into a crow, so bending the knees, knees to the triceps. You slowly come up, shooting the legs into chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, bringing the right leg up. Exhale, the right foot between your hands, coming into a high lunge. Inhaling here, and exhale, twisting to the right. 
maybe opening your arms up to the behind. And arms come back up, inhaling here. Exhale, open to a warrior two. Inhales, reverse the warrior. Exhale, straighten the right leg, coming into triangle pose. Left hand to the left hip. Tilting forward, coming into Ardha Chandrasana. Coming into the bind, grabbing hold of the left foot. Maybe right hand to heart center. Opening up from the bind. Left palm comes down to a standing split. Right hand to the right hip, twisting and opening to the right. And then bringing that left leg down. Arms come up back into your high lunge. Twisting back over to the right. This time maybe you want to come into your side crow. So planting your palms. Creating a shell so you can kind of bend that back knee a little bit. And coming into your side crow. And coming back out of it, back into your low lunge, coming back into a plank, inhaling in plank, exhale chaturanga, inhale to upper dog, exhale back to the downward facing dog, inhale the left leg comes up, and exhale the left foot between your hands, coming into a high lunge, inhaling here, exhale twisting over to the right, Maybe taking that bind. You opening the arms back up overhead, coming into a warrior two. Inhales, reverse the warrior. And exhale, right hand to the right hip, coming forward into your half moon, bending the right knee grabbing hold of the foot or the ankle. My driveway is on a hill, so it's a little challenging for me. Very slight, you don't notice it normally. Left hand to the heart center, inhaling here and exhaling. Bringing both, so you're releasing the bind, bringing both palms down, coming into a standing split. The right leg comes down, coming into your high lunge, inhaling here. And exhale, twisting over to the left. Again, maybe playing with side crow, so bringing that right foot a little bit forward. And coming into your side crow. Slowly coming out of it. Back into your low lunge. And coming back into your plank pose, inhaling in plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, the upward dog. Exhale back to a downward facing dog. Inhaling through your nose and out through your mouth. Coming down to your forearms, preparing for a forearm balance. And slowly kicking up if that's in your practice. And it's hard when you're on a hill. Holding here, always come into a scorpion, bending the knees. Definitely feels weird on a gradation here. Maybe straighten the legs. Coming out of the pose, coming into a short but sweet child's pose. Extending those arms up to the top of the mat. Slowly coming back to tabletop. Inhaling, bring your left arm forward, your right leg back. Exhale, left leg back to the right foot. Kicking the foot into the hand, feeling the quad stretch here. Slowly releasing back down to the mat. The right arm forward, left leg back. Bending the knee, grabbing hold, and then kicking the foot into the hand. trying to incorporate some stretching into this practice and then bringing them back forward, back down. Inhale, looking up for a cow and exhale, tucking the toes under, coming back to the downward facing dog. 
on an inhale bend and the knees gazing forward exhale walking or hopping feet to hands inhale halfway lift and exhale forward fold inhales you sit back in chair pose uttanasana exhale palms come down to the mat coming into your second crow pose here we're going to play with coming into a one-legged crow maybe the right leg comes up but maybe you have to come back out of it maybe the left leg i always have more trouble with the left and then maybe shooting your legs back to chaturanga inhale the upward dog then exhale the downward facing dog on an inhale the right leg comes up exhale the right foot between your hands coming to face the side wall coming into a wide legged forward fold inhaling as you look up and exhale coming down so planting your palms coming into a tripod slowly coming up now from here we're going to come into a side crow so bending your knees shifting your hips over to the right hips come down slowly bringing your head up and then to come out of it in theory your head comes back down coming back up and then we'll take it to the other side bend of the knees I'm gonna to have to move so I'm not on an incline. So hold on a second. Back on flatter ground. So coming back into your tripod. Bend your knees, twisting over to the left. And slowly coming up. And then head down, bringing the legs back up. Maybe coming into a straddle if you've done both sides. Slowly releasing down. So it's a little tricky, something to just work on and play around with, it's fun. We haven't done, I don't think, in any of the classes yet. Inhale as you look up and exhale, folding forward. Now you're going to come into a traditional Shir Shasana, interlacing your hands, head comes down, coming through the straddle, engaging the core, legs together. We're going to play with scissoring our legs, so left leg forward, right leg back, bending the knees. Taking it to the other side as you engage your core. Right leg forward, left leg back. Oh, look at this. oh don't break the windshield. Oh. Back up, engaging your core, coming back to a straddle, slowly coming out of the pose. Again, halfway up. And exhale, folding forward, bringing your hands to your hips on an inhale, slowly rising up. Coming into a resetting goddess pose, heels in, toes out, arms come up bent, 90 degree angle, inhaling here. As you take a back bend, shoulder blades together, exhale, elbows out in front. Inhale, shoulder blades together, exhale, elbows out in front. Inhale, shoulder blades together. Exhale, elbows out in front. Last one, shoulder blades together. And exhale, elbows out in front. Arms by your side, straightening arms and legs. Come into a warrior two, facing the front of the mat. It's gonna shift up a little bit here, give you a better view. So right leg is in a warrior two. Inhaling is reverse the warrior. And exhale, cartwheeling the hands down, coming back to the plate. Inhale in plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, the upward dog. Exhale, back to a downward facing dog. The left leg comes up here. Inhaling here. Exhale, left foot between the hands. And coming to parallel your legs. You will be facing the other direction, but so you don't have to see my behind, I will come face this direction. 
We're inhaling halfway up and exhale, folding forward. Now taking kind of a different type of headstand this time, you're gonna take a half tripod, half traditional. So your right arm's gonna come down first, kind of in the front of the mat. Your left arm's gonna come down with your head, traditional sheer shasana. And then slowly, you're gonna come up. So you're kind of in a half tripod, half traditional. And legs come wide, coming back down. And you know, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So right hand comes down, left palm comes back into a tripod, slowly coming up. Slowly coming back down, both palms again, directly underneath your shoulders. And we'll inhale as you bring our hands to your hips. Exhale, slowly coming up. The left toes turn out, coming into a warrior two. Inhale as you reverse the warrior. Exhale, hands around the left leg, coming back to a plank pose. Inhaling in plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale back to a downward facing dog. Inhaling here. And exhaling. Now we're gonna try maybe to jump into a crow pose. So I haven't quite mastered this yet, but maybe some of you will. Once in a blue moon, I can do it. Um, I think that was before I had Henry and that was almost two years ago. So, all right. So you're gonna try to make your feet nice and light. Maybe just kicking them out like this. And then you're gonna bend your elbows a little bit. You're gonna slowly hop onto your, your triceps. And take it three times. Hop onto your triceps. One more time. Hop. Oh, there we go. And then you're in crow. And then you can come out of it. And we'll just come into a squat pose. Hands to heart center, taking a stretch here. The right arm down, the left arm up. Maybe coming into the bind. Inhaling here. And exhaling, maybe walking the legs together. Putting all the weight in the left leg. So slowly bring your right leg up. Inhaling here. Exhale, maybe trying to fold forward. And then coming back down to a squat. Arms at heart center, taking the other side. Left arm around, right arm up. Coming into a bind. Trying to heel toe your feet together. Slowly bringing right left leg up. Inhaling here. Exhale, maybe folding forward. Coming back into a squat pose. And so now I'll come back to facing the side. So from squat pose, we're in a good position to take a firefly. So the arms are gonna come behind our heels, sitting on your triceps. Maybe you take one leg up, maybe you take the other, and boom, you're in a firefly. So just playing around. When you're done, we're just gonna be at the top of our mat in a forward fold. You're gonna bring your palms underneath the balls of your feet. So you can always bend your knees. You're gonna take a wrist stretch as you rock forward and back. And then slowly releasing the palms back down to the mat. You're gonna inhale as you come all the way up. And exhale, bringing hands to heart center. Gonna inhale, bringing the arms up overhead. And exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, coming back to the downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward into a plank. 
then exhale, coming back to the downward facing dog. Just kind of loosening yourself, kind of resetting. Inhale forward to the plank, exhale down dog. And so you can take one last inversion here of your choice. So for those of you who are practicing with handstand, uh, kicking three times up on one side and then three times on another. If you want a, another headstand, feel free to do a headstand. If you want just a child pose, coming right into a child pose. So from this, uh, we will come back into doing one more arm balance and then we will come into Shavasana. So I always have trouble with handstand. So I'm gonna take three kicks up on one side and three on another. Now my right leg is much weaker, but it's important to practice both. Coming back to the child's pose wherever you are. Wanting to sit in a cross-legged seated position. You're gonna bring the soles of your feet together. Come into Sukhavada Konasana. Inhaling, taking a back bend. Exhale, folding over those legs. Slowly coming back up. So we're gonna hug our right knee, her right chin to our chest. Rocking the baby, you probably know where we're going from here. Asura Krasana. Bringing the right leg over the right shoulder. Right palm by your right hip. Left palm down on the mat or the ground. Slowly bringing your legs up and shifting forward. Maybe trying to come into Akapada Kundanyasana from there. And back into Astava Cross. I have not mastered that yet. <laughs> so just kind of playing around and meeting back in Suttavada Kundanyasana when you're done with that side. Inhaling as you gaze up. Exhale, folding forward. Slowly coming back up, we're gonna take our left shin into our chest, rocking the baby. Hey Jack, it's time, buddy. Time for the what? Not you. Music. Yes. Left arm over the left elbow. Hands down, planting them, coming to Asana Vakrasana. Maybe again, coming into your Akapada Kundanyasana and trying to come back into Asana Vakrasana. If you can, that's awesome. <laughs> and then just coming to breathe, inhaling, looking up at the sky or the ceiling, wherever you are. And exhale, just coming back down, your hands to your heart center. I'm gonna take one stretch here, just to open up our hips, the left shin down, the right shin on top of the left. Inhale as you look up and exhale, folding both palms over. I hate specialists. No, you're just tired of them. It's just too nice. It's a nice that day. You can do that part. Right. Plus, I have to walk this thing here. Right. Uh, Mindy, can you stop eating the pumpkin? I have to walk this thing. Mindy. Sixth grader. Right. Yep. Uh, no, you don't have to do that yet. And then slowly coming up, reversing sides, right shin down, left shin on top of the right. Inhaling, looking up. Exhale, folding forward. Okay, 
Okay, so we're still in the stretch with the right shin down, the left shin over the right, inhaling up and then back down. Slowly coming back. At this point, I mean, so whatever stretches or final poses you need. And at the end of our kind of power arm inversion session, thanks for joining me. Bye.